The latest version of watchOS, watchOS 7, was just announced last week at WWDC 2020. And so in this video, we're going to go hands-on and dig through some of the new features of watchOS 7. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. One of the biggest new features that Apple announced is the ability to better customize watch faces, discover and download new watch faces from other users, and share your own custom watch faces with friends and family via the Messages app. There's also a new watch face available called the Chronograph Pro, which features a tachymeter and room for other custom complications. Apps can now offer more than just one complication at a time, giving users more possibilities with their custom watch faces. Now, once you have a watch face that you really like and you want to share it, you can do so in a few different ways. Like I mentioned before, there is the Messages app. Then you can also email or even post it online for other users to discover and download for themselves. And you can also find new watch faces in the App Store too. The next major addition is the new Sleep app, which will now track users' sleep data if you wear your Apple Watch while sleeping. The Sleep app not only tracks sleep data, but also offers a wind down service in order to establish a better bedtime routine. There are shortcuts available to help you relax within a certain amount of time, and even certain applications can open up like the meditation app or offer up functions to dim your lights. You'll get bedtime reminders in the evening and in the morning you'll see a new weather report and your battery level for the day. If the battery is below 30% closer to bedtime, you'll get alerts or reminders to charge before bed, and all of the sleep information can be found in the health app on your iPhone. I'm not a big fan of sleeping with my watch personally, but I did use it and it worked really well. My watch was at about 100% when I went to bed and it was at about 90% when I woke up. Apple also added new fitness features to watchOS 7, including new featured workouts for dance, functional strength training, core training, and even post-workout cooldowns. And the fitness app now also offers even more data available to post-workout and you can share activity information with friends too. Just like all of the other platforms, the Maps app received the same updates, including new bike-friendly routes with notifications for hills or upcoming stairs on your routes. And you can also search along your current bike route to add new stops like coffee shops or bike shops. Another new feature that's really fitting these days is the new automatic detection for hand washing. Your Apple Watch can now detect using motion sensors and microphones if you are washing your hands and automatically start a 20-second timer. If you stop washing, the watch will encourage you to keep going and then you'll get some haptic feedback when the 20 seconds are up. You can even get your watch to remind you to wash your hands when you arrive home, which is a great feature to have these days. And finally, there are a few smaller updates to touch on, beginning with Siri, which can now offer spoken translation by simply asking Siri how to say certain words in up to 10 different languages. It's a very convenient feature to have on your wrist, especially when you're traveling abroad and you're in a pinch and you just need a quick translation. Siri requests are also much faster due to on-device dictation, where all of the requests are now processed on the watch itself. And there is a pretty noticeable difference in speed from when you ask a question for Siri and when you get that response back. Siri Shortcuts is also available on your watch, and the best part about this is you can now just activate them using a complication, which is incredibly useful. Now back in watchOS 6, Apple introduced the Noise app to help protect your hearing. And so in this update, you'll now get safe weekly listening notifications based on your headphone volume. This will automatically lower the volume for you if it detects high volume levels when wearing headphones like your AirPods or your AirPods Pro, and you'll see a weekly listening summary to see exactly how long you listen to music and at what decibel. This can actually be a pretty underrated feature and can really help protect the health of your ears over time. There are lots of other little features, tips, and tricks for all of the new updates that were announced last week, and we'll be doing more videos going over everything you need to know about those updates, so just be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this one. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.